from the man who saw Jack Sanders' Thunder Cop. And the creator of Abraham Lincoln Holiday Hunter comes Friday, number nine. Get it while it's good. What's going on, everybody? This is actually happening. Back by popular demand. Question mark, question mark, question mark? Yeah. I don't think it's popular. Uh, yeah. So, um, thanks for agreeing with that. Uh, I don't know what to say to you. Like, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty important. <laughs> I'm a pretty big deal, dude. I don't want to ruin it for anybody else. Sure. Um, so, we have, uh, we have been gone for a while. A lot of a lot of really really good things have been going on. Whatever. We've been gone for quite some time. Yeah. It's been about three months. I think it's been about a uh, a month since we since we did the last one of these. What? Yeah, it's been like four weeks. But isn't it like four almost? Four weeks. Whoa! I think Good Friday number eight was like a month and some, more than a month. I mean, it's because it's technically it's almost April. Uh yeah, so it's been about a month and a half, month and three weeks that the. At the least, two months, probably, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, so uh, things have been going good. Well, the hiatus wasn't because we were like not doing anything. We've just been doing a lot of business, which we won't. Well, that's business, business, yeah. like big money business. <laughs> and uh, so we can't really, we can't really <laughs> talk job. about that. You know what I mean? Um, that's reality of it. Like right. the the more, the bigger, the right. the more money involved, the less you can say. So that's right. it. that's all we can say. Right. Right now. Okay. And, and um, who are you again? Uh, oh, <laughs> I am uh, the interesting one. I'm Good job. Kidding. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. I, you are the interesting. One. <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, just, I'm, I'm Marco Flores Jr. and the man beside me. Is the I'm the guy that Nick, the, the, the guy that just makes things happen. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. Carwin Walker. Carwin is the man. He here is, we are. He is the man, and here this we is, are. This is Good Friday number nine. So if yes. you guys don't. Just you guys have you guys in guys don't order. <laughs> you guys haven't, like, uh, this is your first time. If you guys haven't in. read the title of this video, you've already failed as a human being. Zero point All right. zero. Sure. There we go. It's fair enough. All right. This but it's just like, you can't get by without being able to I don't read. know, but I mean, like, the internet, there's just like a lot of crazy shit on that internet. Yeah. Um, That's I had, internet. Yeah. I had a. <laughs> I had a pretty uh, a pretty crazy amount of situations happen yeah. that caused me to take a, a break from even just like Facebook, which was weird. Just delete it completely and get rid of it. It was disable um, it. It was like because you know with all the stuff we're doing, like notoriety comes up, so people start googling you and names get tossed around or whatever. And this is where I envy you, where you don't you don't have one. Oh, yeah. and so I got I got hammered with a <laughs> ton of messages like. Bro, I got this track. Blah blah blah. Remember we used to do this, and I'm like, I don't know who you are, and I had to do that. I don't know how many hundreds of times. And um, it's like being an ass, man. I'm yeah, kidding. It, I'm kidding. It, it's just like it's one of the things where it's like I don't, I don't want to be a dick, but you're coming at me like I know you. I don't know you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give him, like, a, give him a chance, man. The, just like, give him a chance. It's, please, somebody in America, give me a chance, please. Real weird, and um, but he's alive, guys. He's yeah, alive. I'm alive. Just because um, he deleted his Facebook means he's alive. Yeah, because. I, it's a matter of coming back, I guess, with safeguards. The thing that worries me, though, is, like, yeah, like I have, like, pictures of my niece on mine and stuff and, like, family and everything, which oh, is, boy. yeah, which is, like, scary. Mainly in the sense of, like, I enjoy my privacy. I like that part of being human and oh. being a nobody. And um, so <laughs> that, that's the kind I, of fun part about I being I like to be nobody. important, and at the same time, I like to be a nobody. I just like to be left alone sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't sometimes? want... Yeah, I don't want to be, like, badgered with shit. I don't, I don't know you. Damn, no wonder... I- <laughs> and um, and so, uh, <laughs> like, uh, and one of the things was like you know I like I was talking we were talking about this last night like a potential relationship with me and uh, Sarah Sarah for anybody who's listening this is um someone I've known for a while and um a shout out to while. Sarah shout out and um you know like feelings have evolved and stuff but she's very aware of what we're consumed with and that's priority right now blah 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 so a very awesome beautiful person uh. 
I had to explain like, look, things are nuts and whatever, but things will clear up. Yeah, it was just one of the things where like I things will clear the up. things I wanted to focus on were like us doing our thing and maintaining that 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 relationship was important. Like what we were doing is important. Us as friends is important. Like you had just gone through some crazy shit at the same exact time. Oh, yeah. And was it was one of the things where it's shit. like, I started getting bombarded and I started realizing like me getting pissed off about that was rubbing off on everything else. And I was like, I'm going to take a break from the bull crap mm -hmm. and I'm going to get back to like what was really important. You know oh yeah. I mean? Yeah. I can, I can understand that. It's, yeah. it's not like you had somebody break into your house, still like your yeah. work situation. Yeah. Basically, was... uh, I was taking out the trash one night and, and just, you know, yeah. taking out the trash, doing whatever. Not much. And then I come back and I notice like somebody just ran into my home. It was locked. Just straight up locked. And like somebody took my MacBook Pro. Like the yeah. laptop that I do all my work on, yeah. including like the special effects for uh, the, the CBZ shorts yeah. and like the poster work. It's like it was all gone. Like. <laughs> and that was crazy because that, you know, you sent me that text and like we even talked about this last night. Like I, in the midst of all this stuff, like stuff that's prepping and gearing up, it's like the wor best, yeah. worst timing in the world was having that happen amidst everything. So it was like... Yeah, man, because like, where am I going to get another MacBook Pro again? Like, and not even that, like, where are you going to get the one that has all your shit on it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what and I mean? You know what that makes it even better is the fact is, like, the guy that took my laptop... Called you. Called me. <laughs> the guy that had my laptop. Like, at yeah. first I'm thinking this, like, this yeah. is a sick fucking twisted joke that's yeah. happening. And this it has got to be a joke at some point. Like, there were, like, the cops came by, detective, no prints, nothing was found. They got me a better door, mm -hmm. a better lock, and they said, and it's like, he called me from a restricted number, and he called me saying, like, I'm going to wipe your hard drive. Yeah. Enjoy. By the way, do you want any of this show I want, Like, <laughs> I need your password to get on. Please, man. Can I have your password to log on to your computer, and then I'll wipe your hard drive? Like, I then... know I just robbed you, but I need your help with something real quick. Like, please. You're asking me for tech support, and you stole my <laughs> shit from me? Uh, like, I'm supposed to help your ass yeah, out? Like, yeah. you stole from me, man. Like, like you. Like you're gonna do him a solid? I'm gonna do this man a solid that <laughs> ran into my home, uh, took my sh yeah, called me, yeah, and like, it's not you, is it, <laughs> dude? <laughs> if, if it, I don't think like there's, <laughs> I'm just like, is it you? <laughs> I did did Carl, you do it? Yeah, I did it on uh, my own phone line where I had to like go like, oh, I gotta block my number. We're on the same sound like line. a ghetto black dude. Yeah, yo, wait, you know, I can't. I sound like, like Rocky fast Martin. and like short sentences. Yeah, phrases. I sound like Cat Williams. I do a really good Cat Williams. Impression. It wasn't Cat Williams. Oh shit. Um, Billy D Williams. I don't. He's too old to be moving that fast. I know. Plus, he's too cool. If he robbed you, you'd be like, you know what, dude? No, f that. I'd want to <laughs> sock Lando Carizzi in the face. I want to drop his ass from the Millennium Falcon in the uh, sky. Fuck him. No, it was. He stole from me. It was one of the things where we had, we had just stole from me, man. The, the minute, the the minute you told me that we had just hit a pinnacle, like we had a meeting coming up with pretty important people, and then all of a sudden it was like. Yeah. Right before this thing was going to happen, some horrible shit happened. No, yeah, and it was that's, like that's how it works. Yeah, and I just remember like going like, well, we hit like DefCon Five and just kind of figured we got to cover like everything. Our ass. Oh, well, yeah, that was a thing. It was like everything would see. Now this is the beauty. Now this is the possible scenario, not possible scenario, but this is a scenario yeah. that I like to think about. Like, if the guy that decided to try to do the screenplay work or whatever actually went out about it. I would be able to trace that man yeah, down know. and then prove yeah. that he didn't steal it. And the fact that and his ass would have went to jail for a long, long time. Yeah. And if anything, like everything's pretty much like red, like everything's time stamped and dated and like registered. Yeah. So it's like, you want you want my email, dude? Really? Like, calm down. Just sell it to some idiot and let that guy use it. Turn it on, and then he gets arrested, and you're. Really and if fine. that person can prove that somebody else got that right, laptop, yeah, yeah. Then, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be <laughs> great. And I'm still out with the MacBook Pro. Like I'm thinking about this great scenario of like, what if I could catch this man? Yeah. And then like, you said that like the cops, you went to the cops, right? Oh, and they were I went like, to the cops cares? multiple days, thinking like, you know what? Like the guys at LAPD, I'm sure they get a bad rep. You know what? They do because they, they are because they're they're ba that bad. <laughs> it's like I completely forgot like the L.A. riots happened. Yeah, I, I completely yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, and I they, thought it was all in the past. Yeah, no, mm -mm. they're bullshit. No, yeah, they're not. It's they're like not good. I, I went up there. I went up there multiple times, and like on the third time I went up there, I gave them all the updated information that I could about it. And like after they called me, and, and it, it's just like, oh, the detective handling your case yeah. is on vacation. I wasn't notified about this man that is supposed to be working on my investigation 
He's on vacation. Yeah, he's like, he comes I know your laptop's got stolen. He goes, but I, I have these two tickets to Cancun, and I really cannot back out of them. I really can't. I had to hear it from another dude. <laughs> like, I had, like, another cop had to come to me straight, look me in the eye, and go, like, you're the detective that is handling your case is on dead. vacation. I, pff, man, if he was dead, then... At least it would have been the noble way to go. Like, you know, he couldn't find it because he was... Saving a woman from getting raped and got shot or whatever. And, you know, it's like, crazy. oh, yeah, crazier things happen. Sure, laddie, whatever. And yeah. it's it's just like, you know what, like. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a. Police aren't doing jack, man. I have to become a vigilante to go su- seek out my own shit. Yeah, it was, it was horrible, dude. And that was one of the things where, like, you know, I don't. That was one of the things that was, it was unbelievable. It was, like, unbelievable to think that, like, right now. Yeah. That would happen. And, uh, it did, but we made the meeting that week and we made it work. And <laughs> it's like, well, anyways, we made the meeting work, and you know, you'll it's be just all... like, yeah, it's kind of one of the things where it's like, well, I keep on trucking or keep, yeah, keep on fighting, car. When you you don't have a laptop, but you can accuse everything being an alien. Everyone loves aliens, dude. That was a horrible segue for you folks that are now just catching into uh, the fact is like the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, movie is now being dubbed as just Ninja Turtles because apparently they're aliens. And it's in fact true that there is in fact an extraterrestrial origin. Yeah. And there's a lot of possibilities to throw that shit out of whack. I mean, but like, um, like we were even talking earlier that the fact that um there was really no continuity no. From the get-go of story. So it's like, no. it's where, like, as fans, you can kind of go, like, what? Like, it confuses you, and you get kind of rattled by it at first. But then you sit back, and you think, like, if you're able to sit back and go really dissect what what the subject is, like, what the content that you're going to watch is, you start going, like, well, if I trace it back to, like, how it started, it still was never really seen through all the way. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. This is why they are who they are. This is what they are no. and where they're from. It's that's the beauty of it. Right. It, it, yeah, it was just kind of like one of the things where it's like it was it was a pretty badass idea and it looked cool on paper. So, like, we just kind of ran with it. You know what I mean? And it's like we didn't think people were, were going to go like, yay, we're the world's biggest fans. And, like, 25 years later, it's, like, big deal news. Like, it's it's bigger than, like, the Wrath of Titans coming out and, like, anything Marvel Avengers related. It's all just everything's Ninja Turtle, which is good. Like, they haven't been this popular in a long time, <laughs> but they're popular <laughs> for the wrong f***ing reason. Like, the absolute like, wrong reason. Well, like, when you have a voice actor coming back from, like, the first movie using the word sodomized. Yeah. yeah. Like, just, like, I like, I wish I had a clip that I can just play right now where he's just talking about, like, this is, yeah, the idea of it getting, ra- them, like, becoming aliens is, like, raping it. And it's, like, it's <laughs> rape. Uh, it's a rape. Like, somebody's gonna pound it in the ass. Yeah. You, and it's like, you know what, and I guess, like, being a true fan is that you accept it just for, like, what it is. Like, just no yeah. matter what, like, like, um, uh, uh, just somebody from, like, Cowabunga cor- Corner, this is a shout out to you, I guess. Um, <laughs> to you, I guess. <laughs> to, <laughs> sorry, Michelle, if you're listening to this. <laughs> but it, it's just like, you know, like, I, like, I can't sit down and watch, like, that third movie. I can't, I can't do it. You have those heads. Maybe you the have, fact that she has the heads is like is like a hunter's statement, where it's just like I have these heads. She's, this will never <laughs> happen again. <laughs> like I don't know. I mean, it's like the gray. They were so they, they were so shitty to the point that like yeah. anybody could make it. Yeah. But you know what? On the opposite side of that, things that you don't, things that you expect to be shitty turn out to be really really good. Like for example, Twenty One Jump Street. Street. Yeah, that was awesome. That was, was actually really good. It was weird. It was weird sitting like, and I've been like, it was weird. Like I followed that movie from the beginning to the very end from like the idea of like 21. Like I wasn't, I wasn't a f- fan of that. Shit. I wasn't like yeah. huge Johnny and the, Depp. The, the joke, the joke was that like, why would you want to reboot of all shows mm-hmm. that one? Mm-hmm. Like, and they, and like the guys that were behind it, like Chris Miller and, uh, and Phil Lord, they just ran with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, they but, made Clone High, and this is the thing that um, they made Clone High. This is the thing that jarred me and you last night is when we discovered that Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill were the executive producers on it, which means that like the final big creative <laughs> decisions came from the guy from The Vow and uh, the dude, the chubby dude in like Moneyball. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, and, like, and it's like, like you can't like using Moneyball. It's like you did kind of. I think get, you're missing like, the part where I said one of the guys from The Vow. 
I understand you're protecting Jonah Hill, but Channing I'm not, Tatum. Channing I'm not Tatum. protecting Jonah Hill. I'm just saying, like, give credit where credit's due. Like, I guess. I, it's like, hey, man, who invented the fucking will? Fuck him. Who, who did who did that? Fuck him. All I'm saying, it's like you know, like what, mon- what but something like Moneyball, an actual series. Drama I know you're protecting being, Jonah Hill. I got I'm not, you. No, I'm protecting the fact is that like Moneyball was vow. a better movie. Why the fuck would I want to? Because protect half the, the guys vow? behind the thought process of uh, of Twenty One Jump Street. Protecting the fucking vow. But all right, well, take it easy, buddy. Oh, I'm just saying. Shitty. Let's let's be fair here. Okay. The half of the team behind right. the creative decisions for Twenty One Jump Street is the guy from The Vow. Who was in Dear John, and mm-hmm. Fight, and uh, Step Up? I didn't see those. So if you're in a meeting and Channing Tatum's like, "I got an idea. What if the Cool Ranch Doritos is a thing that I say and we follow that all the way through?" And he's the one coming in with all the bits. Spoiler alert to Twenty One Jump Street. Rob Riggle's a drug dealer. Anyway, damn. Um, man, wow. I'll bleep that. Never. Is when I'll bleep that. He just does not give a fuck. Did you? Nobody saw it. Everyone's watching the Hunger Games. Next time, we'll be number ten. What the fuck is a Captain America? How can a country be a captain? <laughs> captain of what? <laughs> captain Nigeria. I want to meet that guy. He's got like the swollen belly and like one spear that just flies. I want to meet Captain his... Canada. Right. I want to meet Captain Kangaroo. Fuck it. It's everything. He shows you uh, cartoons all day. That's all he does. And then he sodomizes me when my parents aren't around. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to get the internet buzz. Are you, are you just, you're trying to get everybody amped up to get us all, get them, everybody all mad. I'm just trying to get everybody back into the into the vibe right now. <laughs> and um, people are gonna be mad. Man, can King Rude don't sodomize me? Yeah.